The birth of Jesus is situated not in the realm of myth or fantasy, but within the reality of the world of time. St. Luke's account of the birth of Jesus begins with a clear affirmation. Luke boldly places the story of the birth of Jesus into terms of the real world. He identifies who the Roman emperor was and who the local governor was, and the fact that a world census was to take place. All historic facts which can be verified as being real. Indeed, Jesus' birth belongs not only to the realities of that particular time, but his birth is the birth of someone who comes to change the realities of history. He is a saviour, Emmanuel, God with us. How is that reflected in the world in which we live? For many in Australia today, God has become often only marginal to their lives. They are not necessarily atheists, much less hostile to belief, but God plays less and less a role in their everyday life, except at special moments of trial or grief. They are good people, often better people than many of those who profess to believe. Does God matter then? Yes, Christmas brings joy and brings out real goodness, even in the hardest of hearts. And indeed, that is part of the perennial message of Christmas, which touches hearts like no other feast. But as believers, we cannot be satisfied simply to celebrate Christmas like an anaesthetic which hides pain for a moment, or like an eruption of spending which ends up leaving us only with a hangover of emptiness. Emmanuel, God with us, St. Paul writes that since God's grace has been revealed, he has made salvation possible and that we must give up everything that does not lead to God while we are waiting in hope for the blessing that is to come. As Christians who celebrate the birth of a saviour, we have to seek out what our hope really means and involves and what it is the Christian hope has to offer to our world. The world yearns for a message of hope, peace and consolation. Anyone following the news media in recent months cannot fail to be moved by the sight of fellow human beings fleeing for their lives. Near a home, the plight of people forced to live and sleep on the streets is distressing and makes us thankful to have a warm home and a bed to rest in at night. If Christmas is to be more than sentimentality, tinsel and lights, then our Christmas worship should challenge us to go out and play our part in making the world a better place. It is our task as followers of the Christ child, born Prince of Peace, to carry his message of hope to the world. Isaiah the prophet expresses so beautifully the reason for our hope. The people that walked in darkness has seen a great light. The birth of Jesus is a recorded fact marked in time as we read in the Gospel. The life he holds out to us is not a theory or a philosophy or an ideal. It is a relationship with him who alone can work the changes in each one of us that we truly desire. He is our saviour, our redeemer. In the Gospels, we are invited to look deeply at this mystery to recognise God in Jesus and to see that we are invited 
to share in his divine mystery by actually sharing in the divinity of Jesus. Our faith can never become simply something we do. Our faith must be the very centre of our lives and reflect our deepest belief about God, about creation and about love itself. God sends us his Son because of his love for us. God wants us fully alive in our humanity and freed from all sin and brokenness so we can rejoice in the tradition that tells us Christ is born for us today. Come, let us adore him. It is for us that Christ is born, for us. This love that God has for us comes to us at Christmas. And we see this love in the little baby who grows and matures and offers his life for us. Come, let us adore him. Christmas, dear friends, is about new life, about new birth. Let us allow the Christ child to be born again in our hearts, in our families, in our neighbourhood and in our country. I wish to end this reflection with the opening words of Pope Francis's apostolic exhortation, Evangelii Gaudium, in which he states, the joy of the gospel fills the hearts and the lives of all who encounter Jesus. Those who accept the offer of salvation are set free from sin, sorrow, inner emptiness and loneliness. With Christ, joy is constantly born anew. This, dear friends, is Christmas. This is what it does. It spreads hope. It spreads peace. It spreads joy. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare his room. For Emmanuel, God is with us. I wish everyone a blessed Christmas.